Hello friends, welcome to this video where we will see about computerized accounting system. As we saw in the previous video, automation of accounting has to be done only with computerized accounting systems. So come let us see in detail about the CAS. Now basically what is a computer? A computer is nothing but an electronic device which stores and processes data using binary storage. Binary storage refers to storing data in the form of zeros and ones. And it functions according to the instructions programmed already in it. So now what is computerized accounting system? Computerized accounting system is just like any other operating system or software wherein the accounting information system makes use of the program data, processes and financial transactions and it uses the generally accepted accounting principles as declared already and then it gives us the accurate financial information. So the characteristics of computerized accounting system are there are mainly two aspects that is user defined framework and accounting principles. Accounting principles refer to the basic rules, assumptions and the accounting principles on which the whole accounts are prepared. And the user defined framework is the area where you feed in the data and you work. Here, computerized accounting system uses both hardware and software. Hardware is nothing but the system or the computer which you use and software could be any accounting software. We will see in detail about accounting software in the upcoming videos. It is important to note that this computerized accounting system is dependent on a database and the software that is the accounting software also functions with the help of this database. So now what is a database? A database is nothing but a set of computer programs. It facilitates the storing, processing and managing data. It could be any data. When this data is transferred or transwritten as accounting data, it is called an accounting database. So now there are two requirements for a computerized accounting system to function that is the accounting framework based on the need for which the computerized accounting system is used the frame is decided according to which purpose are you using for example if you are using this for payroll accounting the framework is, de is decided accordingly and similarly if you use it for inventory the framework is different. Next, the operating procedures are the set of instructions which say how should all the transactions be treated and how should we react to the transactions fed into the computer. Now, the, those were the requirements for a computerized accounting system. These are the requirements for a database to function. So, we have front end interface which is nothing but the front screen which you see and where we type in the transaction. The next thing is the back end database wherein when you type a transaction, say when you type like purchase account data to cash, the request is processed in the database and the computer decides what to do with those transactions and in which ledger to record them. The data processing is the request is fulfilled. When you type the transaction, the transaction is treated properly according to the accounting principles. The reporting system is the final screen where you see the information is reported. Generally, the reporting system refers to the system wherein you get the final accounts report. Now, the features of computerized accounting system. So this is actually a faster process of accounting wherein manual accounting will take a lot of time. It has an efficient processing because there is no human work involved. So the time consumed for completing each work is reduced. Also since it is done through the computer the information derived is reliable and accurate most of the time. 
now previously we were presenting final accounts in paper documents but now through this computerized accounting system we have automated this document production also the storage and retrieval of evidences become very easy when you manually uh, store the accounts or prepare the accounts the ledger the vouchers everything should be maintained in files and it takes a long time when you have to verify any particular transaction but since it is stored in a computer here it becomes very easy to trace a transaction and get those evidences easily comparatively when when we see about the manual accounting system there are possibilities of more errors whereas the computerized accounting system is comparatively error free these are the features as well as the advantages of this cas now let us come to the limitations when there are advantages obviously there should be disadvantages it is actually a little higher cost than manual accounting and accountants tend to lose their jobs because of replacing people with machines and also when the systems turn to be fail failure or if there is a virus attack the whole information will be lost so that is a biggest disadvantage and also we can't give guarantee for the security of the information because there are possibility of cyber thefts and crimes so this was an overview of the computerized accounting system where we saw what is computerized accounting system how does a database help in this cas what are the requirements for a computerized accounting system and a database what are the features and its limitations as i mentioned earlier the computerized accounting system will function only with an accounting software so we'll see in detail about the accounting software in the upcoming videos hope this video was clear and useful till we meet again this is sangeeta selvan thank you